I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but younger people, they're not that interested in movies and TV shows. They're more interested in short form content like TikTok or YouTube shorts. They are into anime. That's something that seems to be a big hit with younger people. The proper term is 18 through 25. A very, very popular demographic for Hollywood people. They really like that. Uh, They do very well with advertisers because advertisers want to reach them and get them interested in their shit. It's a big thing. And because nobody's really interested in what Hollywood is doing, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I've gone over many of them, uh, they are trying to find new ways to reach that audience. And one of them is to just go into Japan. Another problem, like this is a whole different thing that I've talked about before, more Western influence going into that country, which is going to eventually turn everything there into more corporate Hollywood bullshit, which I don't want. Specifically, I go away from that stuff to animate to get away from the Western stuff, but it's creeping in there because so much money is being made in in anime and manga and stuff like that. So they want to go in there and taint it. This has been a long, this has been a long ongoing thing for a minute. I've talked about it a bunch of times, like all this money coming in to Japan from the West and how that could potentially hurt what is being made over there. Uh, But Warner Brothers is looking to expand their anime production in a big way, with the media giant aggressively wanting to release double digits each year. The Asia-Pacific branch of Warner Brothers Discovery is planning on expanding its investment and production in Japanese animation to over 10 series per year. We have a Japanese anime studio, which which has been producing 5 to 10 anime series per year over the past... Over the last few years, James Gibbons, WBD president of Asia Pacific, said via Variety, we've approved expansion to take that to more than 10 series per year. In operation since 2011, WB Discovery Asia Pacific has helped more than 80 anime titles ranging from high-quality anime, live-action, and feature movies, which includes IPs like JoJo's and Record of Ragnarok. We've sold them to third parties. That has been one of the metrics, and they are doing very well, Gibbon said. And so because we see the appeal of the category, we are expanding it. Anime is one of the best ways to reach 18 to 30-year-old audiences, which is incredibly elusive. And that's because they're not interested in the Hollywood shit. They're not. Look at Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That movie is not doing very well. I thought there was a lot of boring parts in that movie. Overall, I'd give it it a 6 out of 10, but uh, they definitely did things that they think appeal to younger people, like the lesbian ghost love story and stuff like that. You're going to start seeing that in anime real soon. A lot of that DEI stuff, especially stuff made from Warner, is probably going to have a lot of it in there. They've got a Suicide Squad movie coming. That's what this animation right here for the thumbnail is from. And it actually looks pretty good. Uh, But it's kind of sad that all of these American properties now have to be sent over to Japan for anybody to be interested in them, if you think about it. Because this stuff has been around since World War II. Superman, Batman, Superman for sure. I think 1938 is when Action Comics was first published with Superman throwing that car. That's that's been around for a long time. And now, like, something that was so iconic and so tied to America during, you know, World War II, one of the greatest times of patriotism in our country, like, now is going to be made in Japan. Like, they've already been doing that with that, what is it, Superman Adventures? That show looks like an anime. I stopped watching. I just watched the first couple, and I didn't think there's anything wrong with it, but... To me, it was still somewhat kind of sad 
to see them have to send him to Japan to get anybody to try to care about him. And that's happening now with all of the DC stuff. Uh, DC Universe, we've looked at our DC Universe. We can take these characters and reinvent them in the world of anime. So that's what they're going to do now. They're just going to start sending everything over to Japan. And uh, while it might improve the story for a lot of these characters, it's also bringing in more Western money. It's kind of like two problems in one because I really am not that interested in an anime Suicide Squad. I'd rather see another new original anime than see the shit that I've already seen redone in an anime style. Some Sometimes you might get some good stuff out of it, but it's just it's not what I'm looking for with DC Comics and Marvel Comics and all these other properties. I want to see stuff that's made from and by Japanese people. So, just more Hollywood nonsense going on. Give me your thoughts on this. What do you think about all of this in the comments? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.